me, when I think of praying mantis, I think of a nun. And anytime I see a nun, I think of bondage. <laughs> it's just how it works. I was wondering where the nun thing came from. Praying mantis. Praying mantis. Yeah. When you think about nuns, Which you think about kink. Yeah. <laughs> I've hit that point now where I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna do me, I'm gonna have fun with what I do, so if I were to go out, at least it's something that was fun. The kinky tattoo artist. That's right. Mm. My canvas is excited about her new bondage tattoo, so I'll have a fun time explaining it to her boyfriend. For sure. You'll have one last chance to prove your creativity by facing off against each other. <laughs> oh. Damn it. But this time, the power is in the hands of your competition. Midwest, you will assign the style that everyone must tattoo in the face-off. And West, you'll assign the subject. Oh, oh damn. Oh, no. This, what do you think? I kind of want to see him slim down in tradition. That's what I was thinking. Fairies. He's in the fairy. He's a bean up wink. Midwest, what style must they tattoo? We decided that they're going to tattoo American traditional. West. What subject must they tattoo? Full-bodied fairies. Bastards. All right. Full-bodied American traditional fairies, and this face-off is set. Tomorrow, you'll have six hours to tattoo, and based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Good luck. Basically, we're looking at pinups, and traditionally in this competition, pinups are hard. The saving grace on that is that fairies are a mythological creature, so if you do a more standard looking pinup with wings, we're gonna get you on proportion and anatomy. But if you go a little wild with it, it's up for debate. I would wear this. I've never seen anything like it. Three hours to go, people. Three more hours of tattooing. I'm kind of pissed off about the last challenge. I felt like that our tattoo was the most creative. So with this design, it's basically like a big you. He did get away with not having to draw hands or feet. Yeah, he got away with it for sure. <laughs> I'm doing a four-titty cock horse fairy. The bottom's gonna be a horse, the middle's gonna be a woman, and the top's gonna be a rooster. I'm putting an extra set of breasts on this tattoo because it's all the anatomical issues with Jimmy's, so I figure I'm just gonna double up the challenge and make sure that I hit it better than he did. Today, the South and the East had to face off against each other, tattooing an American traditional fairy. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Here we go. Jason. We did say creativity. Four titty chicken goat. <laughs> Just weird and funky, and it looks like you had a fun time with this. Good one pass line, solid black whip, solid color. It's strong tattoo. Thanks. Got a wrist tie reward. Oh, you look cool. I like it. Today, uh -huh. you must tattoo pinups. Oh. Oh. I am so ready for this. Yeah, y'all love it now, man. Historically, they don't do too good in this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Pinups in this competition are historically dangerous. There's a lot of really small details that you can up that are gonna send your ass home very quickly. It's not gonna be easy. I don't know what's not. Oh, oh, shit, Lord, every time. What is happening? Here we go again. Shit's going down. Not again. I still hope pinups aren't hard enough. But that's not all. Oh, of course, of course it's, it's not. not. It's me, your resident master of chaos, here to shake things up. They're already pretty shaken. Yeah. Pinups alone are too easy for this all star group of artists. I wouldn't say that. No, they're not. That is why. This week, you must tattoo pinups of animals. What, what the f f Are you kidding me? Okay, <laughs> all right. Whoa! What is this? Whoa! What do you want, bud? Colorful, neo-traditional giraffe pinup in a seductive pose, wearing lingerie. It's awesome. Hot. My strategy is just to give myself the best tattoo that I can get. There you go. Then I'll dish the rest out to my alliance and give the shit ones to everybody else. Canvases, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Bob. That would be me. Sexy giraffe. You will have five hours to tattoo an animal pinup. Got a lot of drawing to do. 
Remember, in this competition, missing even the tiniest detail could send you packing. Good luck. This tattoo is to the brim of detail. It has patterned spots, straps, and like all the shit in it. Is that super painful or anything? Mm -hmm. Sorry. I literally need to cram a 10 hour tattoo into five hours. I just need to shake out the pain. What'd you say? I need to shake out the pain. You're gonna hate me, but I gotta do like five lines real quick. My canvas is only set for three hours, and they are definitely feeling it right now. Today, you had to show your attention to detail by tattooing animal pinups. Let's see how you did. Bob, you're up first. This tattoo is so incredible, man. It's like laser printed. Not only anatomically is your illustration absolutely spectacular, but the use of textures like the latex top really looks shiny. I just want this giraffe to have social media so I can start following her. <laughs> there you go, man. Judges, it's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. In terms of overall quality, I think there is truly one artist that really outer space raised the bar. My vote is for Bob. I have to agree with Ryan. That thing is sick. My vote is for Bob. Ami, Bob. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Bob. Congratulations. Thank you. Ooh. You are safe from elimination. OK, artists, this is your last chance to make it on a team. Knock your opponent out of the competition, or you will be going home. You have five hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. How are you doing over here? Do you do a lot of Japanese stuff? Never. No. I am pretty nervous to go against JP, but I'm not gonna let him see that. You have a color reference already? Mm -mm. No. When I was growing up, I was definitely an introvert because my family moved around a lot, so I spent a lot of my time working on my art. And that's where I think my creativity was born out of. We got a spot open for you, for sure. Girls have to kick out some guys. Yeah. And we're gonna take over. Today, each of you had to face off in a knockout round. And based on your work, half of you will earn a spot on a team, and half of you will be packing your machines. Let's critique the face-offs. Jennifer. That is a dick with scales. <laughs> One-eyed Willie right there. And it's got wings. Even the mouth. Where's the lips? I've actually never done jab. I mean. Technically, you have a little bit of wobbly lines with some color that's not filled perfectly in. You have problems on both sides of the fence with this tattoo. All right, judges, we need to determine the winner of the face-off. If I didn't know anything about what was going on with this situation, I looked at these two tattoos, technique-wise, I wouldn't see a whole lot of difference. Obviously, JP's looks more like the target that we're looking for. My vote's for JP. JP? The winner of the face-off is JP. Jennifer, please pack your machines and head out. It's like a little humiliating being the first to go, but I'm going to work on my fundamentals and I'm going to earn my place in this industry. This week, we're testing your ability to use finesse. Finesse in tattooing is your hand movements, your needle depth, your patience with somebody because they might be in too much pain. As a tattoo artist, you must be able to handle everything from complex tattoos to difficult canvases. The more complex the tattoo or the placement, the more finesse is required to create a masterpiece. There's no better test of finesse than tattooing one of the most difficult parts of the body, the head. Holy <laughs> we're doing head tattoos. This sucks. A bound woman underwater, bound in seaweed. I do not want the one with the girl bound. That's scary. You've got to put a lot of detail into a tight area. Canvases. One by one, read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Tattoo baby. After you consult with your human canvases, you'll have six hours to complete your head tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will be closing shop. Good luck. So what was your idea? You want a bond girl? A bound woman? Underwater, bound in seaweed. A oyster with a pearl? That's where the seaweed's coming All out right. from. I would never do a pinup this small. 
by us trying to incorporate a whole body on the head, that's what's gonna be really tricky. When you like put so much in one piece, it's harder to read than when you step back yeah. into something that's more clear. I don't know how to give my canvas everything she wants in such a small tattoo. I'm in trouble. Joey, can you help me out one second? This one looks way too small, right? Just a little bit compared to the hand. See how much bigger your foot is than your hand? Tattoo Baby's design is jacked. What do you think about this hand? Is that one or two hands? Two hands. Shade that one darker yeah. than the other one, so that way it looks like they're separate hands. I'm not going to have enough time to finish my design. I'm really scared that the judges are gonna rip me apart. I'm very nervous starting this tattoo. The smaller you do detail, the harder it is to pull it off right. You're doing great. Thank you. You're trying. Everything in my head right now is telling me a small tattoo is not the best way to go. This is gonna send you to the bottom. She's coming along. So far, so good. I just gotta deal with what I got and rock this with confidence. 30 minutes remaining. I've been trying to show finesse and go very soft in this tattoo, but my canvas is still in a lot of pain. I'm not going to let her tap out. You're doing great. It is critical for me to finish this tattoo. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. That's it, time's up. No more ink. Machines down, please. You've done great. <laughs> I could not take a six hour tattoo on my head, no way. Artists, today you had to show your ability to use finesse by tattooing a challenging part of the body, the head. Tattoo baby. How well do you feel you executed this tattoo? It was pretty challenging for me. There were certain spots where she was crying, but hopefully I helped her soothe through it. You used finesse with your canvas. It was a difficult piece. I like the way you designed her, where she's bound and her legs are up. Only thing I'm having trouble with is that line that looks like the, it's a part of her butt cheek, and then the line going down, it looks like the back of her leg. If I look at a tattoo and I have to figure out what's going on, that's not a successful tattoo. One of the reoccurring issues with your tattoos is line work. Look at those hands. Look at the lines in the seaweed. Nobody else did line work this Nobody. It's not a bad tattoo. I do feel that you have probably more consistency yeah. in your line weight than potentially Joey for me beating up Joey's outline. However, you look like you're covering up inconsistencies just by the approach of the shading that you took. Trying to pack areas with this blue that's inconsistent, that is a hard, hard, hard color to make look great. You took a beautiful structure and you muddied it up. To earn the title of Ink Master, you must prove you are versatile enough to handle anything. Get ready to be put to the test. Oh boy. There are two tables of skulls today. In this elimination tattoo, it's the luck of the draw. Oh man, are you kidding me? My fate can be in the crazy hands of a skull pick? Each of you must choose one skull from each table. One table of skulls will determine your style, and one table of skulls will determine your subject. I'll do any style, any time, any place. Bring it on. You've also been randomly assigned a picking order. Mark, you're up first. Choose a skull from each table. American traditional. Skull and a snake. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm stoked, it's classic tattoo design. I know I can rock it. You'll have six hours to tattoo, combining the style and subject to create one solid piece that proves that you can handle whatever comes your way. Man. Head to your shops and meet your canvases. This is make it or break it right here. Now is not the time to play it safe. What is happening here? Traditional snake and pity skull. I'm tattooing an American traditional skull and snake, but it's not your mama's skull and snake because I changed the skull into a naked lady. I figured we've done enough skulls. I'm swinging for the fences. I'm gonna hit a home run. I'm gonna show these judges I need to be in the finale. All you have to do is a traditional skull and snake, and yet you give me some bubblegum colored design that doesn't even look like a skull. It's very disappointing. This week, you had to prove that you could take on any challenge and persevere. Mark. A 
skull and a snake. One of the most common traditional images. What did I get? Craziness. I got craziness with this tattoo. You show this image to a person on the street, they're not gonna say it's a skull. Your outline, some problems. The one breast that's towards the center of the tattoo is a big wobbly blowout. The hair is going up into the eyes, making it look less like a skull. I did my take on it. This isn't your take day. It's not Mark Longnecker tat day. It's American traditional skull and snake. I understand that this is your specialty, so I kind of expected it. Why would you do something where you expect that? You know how to do traditional. Definitely. Just do it. Just win. That's what I want to do. Well, then you're doing everything wrong. Artists, this is your last chance to save yourself from elimination. You have six hours to tattoo an illustrative insect. And your time starts now. First things first, then you're gonna get your leg marked. Let me get this stencil on. For me, when I think of praying mantis, I think of a nun. And any time I see a nun, I think about it. <laughs> it's just how it works. I was wondering where the nun thing came from. Praying mantis. Praying mantis. Yeah. When you think about nuns, you think about the king. Yeah. <laughs> I've hit that point now where I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna have fun with what I do. So if I were to go out, at least it's something that was fun. The kinky tattoo artist. That's right. My canvas is excited about her new bondage tattoo. So I'll have a fun time explaining it to her boyfriend. For sure. Today, the Midwest and the South had to face off against each other. And you were being tested on consistency. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Let's see how you did. Jarrell. Well, I love the creativity of this design and the simplicity of it. Looks like an insect right off the bat. Then the subtle little inferences you added to it with the little ropes and the ball gag and the habit gives a very cool little touch. One of the tricks of the trade is being able to use this much black in such a small area and still see what everything is. And you do that really well here. Thanks, guys. Hell yeah. My guy. <laughs>